Let's go to the next round. The next round, this time we are saying that it's not young people, any stakeholder can act on it. Of course, people can lobby around those ideas so that lobbying is most welcome. But really, in this city, now, if we come to, and always from Delhi, so yeah, but Mumbai, uh, let's take Mumbai as a context. So, what's that one idea you have for the city that you feel will have a transformative impact in the city if that happens? It could be a constructive idea. It could be something that you feel that in the city, just this will happen. So, in the city, there will be a lot of... It doesn't have to be what we can do. No, no, it doesn't have to be what we can do. In the city, there will be something that happens. Right? And let's... There will be a big change. There will be a transformational impact. Any idea that you always held in your heart that this should happen in the city. Right? And of course, we are not like going super dreamy on this also. It should be something we can... Maybe collectivize around. So not super, super dreamy either. But in the city, if it will happen, then this is my opinion. I'm sure each of you has a lot of ideas for what the city needs, what can happen in the city. We are going to nudge you to pick something that is close to your heart, something that you feel in the city, if it will happen, then this should happen. Here is an acupressure point, or here is something. Anything close to your heart that you feel is an idea you can share. And let's play with it. Let's... Uh, go back and forth a bit, but let's have some initial thoughts, ideas close to heart. Ke mein ye ho jana okay, so Ruchi, ready with? Yes, uh, I have a lot of ideas, but since I've been called here as an artist, I'm going to answer as in artist capacity. Uh, and I think the answer is quite obvious, um, which would be to have more community centers, to have more theaters, to have more gardens, to have more libraries, because a uh, lot of research has shown that it fosters civic engagement, it fosters compassion, it's very good for your mental health, uh, and it just leads to more joy and more connection, you know. Uh, we have the malls, we have rich people uh, living in, S in um, gated, uh, gated communities, but what about everybody else? Where can we connect? Where can we just go to sit, to dream, to listen to ourselves, you know? Our spaces are just being taken away from us. Where do we go to watch plays? Where do we go to watch a music concert? Itni limited hai, itni mehengi hai jagah hai. Sir, filmen bach jati hai. But filmo ke alawa bhi bohat kuch hai, jo hum citizens kar sakte hai, joy ke liye, shanti ke liye. So for my thing for civic, it would be more of those. Lots of communities. Lot of spaces, theaters, libraries, gardens. Gardens, theaters. Lots of community spaces of all sorts. Art spaces, community spaces. Thanks, Suruchi. Okay, now we are starting to dream. Okay, Ashank. I think uh, to me, one crucial change, if we can make it happen, that will be great for city or any city for that matter, that we create a sense of ownership in citizens that I am responsible, I am accountable, not some government sitting 10,000 kilometers away. So that sense of accountability and responsibility, both, if you create in every citizen, then the city will be different. And that accountability doesn't mean doing something only physically. It also means raising your voice. It could be uh, writing an article or it could be just seeing that you separate two different uh, things, you know, wet, uh, waste and it could be anything. A housewife can do it, a servant can do it, or an entrepreneur can do it, or a politician can do it. But I am accountable. That I am part is important here. That I am accountable for whatever good or bad thing happening in the country, in the in the city, is 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 something that sense of ownership if I may call it. If we can inculcate that, it will release the energy from the system. Today, everyone wants somebody else to do. All of us think that, you know, somebody will take charge. Nobody will take charge. Please go and take charge, is all take that I say. Okay. I am accountable. Great. Accountability uh, and responsibility. So I'll, I might come back to you, Ashank, to say what are some ways in which we would like to do that. But yeah, let's hear some others. Yeah, I'm not sure this is yet my idea, but I just want to add to something he said. See, I, my observation is that our uh, fundamental, well, maybe not fundamental, but one of our main manifest problems is that most people f seem to behave as though rules are made just to annoy them. 
and that there's some kind of inbuilt reflex, you know, uh, rule is there to be broken behavior. Not stopping to think. I mean, how many two-wheeler drivers in Bombay actually follow a red light? I mean, listen, I mean, you know, I mean, a lot do. I'm not saying no, none of Because I often, my main road that I have to cross, even if it's my turn to cross, I have to first make sure that there's no two-wheeler, you know, coming at me at full speed. So I just want to add that this sense of responsibility begins with this, but I have no clue in how to inculcate it. And then since I have the mic, I think I'll say that my wish is actually very similar to uh, Suruchi's, except that I would elaborate on the need for green spaces. Green space. I was yeah. wondering yeah. ecology. It, <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Finally Not only, green, see why? Because in fact, this is a point that uh, um, uh, Suprabha Seshan has made in her Ahimsa conversation. She's an ecologist and a, a rainforest ecologist who works in uh, Kerala. And she's, because when I asked her, so, you know, what do we do? Where do we go? She said, well, don't underestimate the importance of how much ecological restoration you can do in the nooks and crannies of the con uh, concrete. Since in any case, the city in its current form is not going to disappear. I mean, not, in, uh, not until after the apocalypse. <laughs> okay, so then, until then, uh, so yeah, so I'm, I'm just elaborating, I'm adding to uh, Suruchi's point that, and, and we are, by the way, um, sitting in an example of the opposite, right? This whole area, I think, it, I don't know how many uh, square kilometers it was, could have been redesigned exactly like this, but we all know what has happened. True. So green spaces, restoration spaces, and also support to Ashang's point of rules. Uh, Sanjay, always. <laughs> uh, I would think uh, consideration for the other and let me just elaborate uh, that a little more. In our uh, kind of misplaced entrepreneurial spirit, uh, in our rat race, we tend to mistake this as that I have to be the first one at the post and therefore we tend to push the others behind. So. You talked about, you know, a two-wheeler wanting to go ahead. You stand at a, uh, at, a, at a traffic signal. There are four cars coming from all sides. You don't know. Everybody wants to go wherever they want to go fast. I don't know for what reason, but everybody wants to go. And everybody wants to see that they are ahead in that, in, that, uh, in, that, in that race. But in the underlying part of it is that we don't really, we don't have any consideration for the others, right? So in our, uh, when I used to be in the government, at that time we had started a small experiment, which kind of remain uh, under fulfilled, is starting something called a thumbs up campaign. That if somebody does some act of generosity to you, you actually do a thumbs up. For example, if, uh, if you're in the car and an old couple wanting to pass and, and you stop for the old couple to pass or the young children going to school to, to pass, the children can give you a thumbs up. You know, the, the elderly couple, couple can give you a thumbs up. Or somebody does some kind act, some good act, all that you do is just put a thumbs up to say that, look, I appreciate what you did, right? And then build that culture of consideration to the others. And you'll be surprised how it will transform a whole lot of spaces for us. Just this one single act mm -hmm. of having others ahead of you and have the gratitude for somebody having given you the space to go ahead of them, I think will transform the city. Because I think every shahar kuch kehta, you know, that's, har ghar kuch kehta hai. Her shahar kuch kehta. So while Mumbai says very clearly that Mumbai is a safe city, anybody who goes out into the, even at night, feels safe about Mumbai. There's something about the air of this city, the culture, which makes people feel safe. But it doesn't say the same thing about whether I'm considerate to you. And it's possible to build it up in a very gradual and gentle manner. Because that will have a huge snowballing effect on everything that we do in this city. So that's one thing which I feel can we can potentially do.